Joe. Coach, you give up a 19-0 run. It's going to be hard to pull off a victory, even though you guys came back with a 10-0 run of your own to make it a five-point game. But turnovers were just killing you early. Turnovers are not very tough. Every time we get punched in the mouth, we go look for somewhere to hide. Uh, give Northern a lot of credit. They played with some energy. Uh, the turnovers, you know, turned into home runs, and it, and it was that was game right there. You had a little different lineup there down the stretch when you made your comeback. Was that just a matter of getting guys that weren't going to turn it over and play together? Uh, I think Ronald Booth what might have been a little harder here, and so I had to remind him and uh, sit him down there. But you know, it's you know when when the game starts to change, we just lose all poise and lose our toughness, and uh, that's the mark of a bad team. You got a week before your next game. What do you? Uh, What's this week of practice going to be like? Well, you know, we really got to get back and try to get a sense of toughness because really, you know, the games are always in the balance. The games, uh, all basketball, they're going to be games of runs. They made their run and we went in high. So we got to make sure that we step up to the challenge. And all right, Coach, we'll see you Saturday. Thank you. Sean. Great comments there. <laughs> As always, from Coach Greer. Not uh, cliches. You're not going to hear no, those. No, no. You know, what, what's the old saying? As blunt as a pickaxe? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes uh, they run away and hide. Uh, players are hard of hearing. He is, he is something else. Uh, unfortunately, we wish we had better news for you, but the Warriors fall by a score of 83 to 74. You know, before we get out of here, obviously one of the things we always like to do is look at the highlights. Before we do that, Rod Beard, I, I guess your thoughts. Uh, Warriors have now lost three straight. Yeah, I think he's right. You got to go back and practice and find yourself, find out who you are. And if you're going to be a tough team, you're going to face this type of adversity in every game. What do you do when you get down by double digits? Do you come back and fight or do you just kind of say, hey, what, how much time is left in this game and what can we do after the game? And that's going to tell who you are, your character as a team. Well, and, and here's the thing, Rod. I think what jumps out to me is it's the close games. You know, they're, they're this close. It seems like the last three games, they're this close, and the game is hanging in the balance and can go either way. And unfortunately, uh, what you're seeing is the opposition finding a way to win. Yeah, and, and you've got to be able to answer the call. And, and this happens in practice. Coaches simulate this all the time. What do you do when you got a one-point game or when you've given up a 10-0 run? How do you react to that? And it's that sudden change that coaches talk about so much. Wayne State didn't react to it very well today. Well, let's take a look at some of the highlights here today from the Mathai Center. And in the first half, very even first half, back and forth, uh, no doubt about it. Yeah, a lot of back and forth, but when they started getting going from the three-point line, Northern did. That's what kind of made it, it pick your poison for Wayne State. You got Isaiah Johnson hitting from there. He was five of six from three today. He had 30 points and six rebounds in 35 minutes. And then Naba Eccles started knocking down a couple of shots too. And that's where it's just, you, you gotta start buckling down from that point. Three-pointer there from Ronald Booth who had four of seven from three. He had 18 points and four assists, but a couple of turnovers in that second half. Spencer got going too. He had a really nice game. George Spencer, 16 points, career high, 12 rebounds. And then when that confidence started going and Booth started hitting a couple more shots, you felt good about Wayne State's uh, situation and what they could do. Well, and this was one of those things where heading into the half, you felt good about it. You're up by one, but it, you're hitting those outside shots, and it started early on for the Warriors as well in the second half. Yeah, Marcus Moore, three of four from three. We say shot 11 of 19, so that was the key to them staying in this game. They just went that long stretch of about seven minutes and just couldn't get a bucket. Only got a couple of free throws out of it. 23 to two run for Northern over that stretch. And that's what stretched it out to a 15 point lead. Well, and, and then, you know what? It, they just kept coming in ways. Karius had his moments here. There's a, a, a bucket for him, but uh, that run really was what did it in today, Rod. Yeah, you just can't build too, too big of a hill that you have to come back from double digits every time. It's just going to be impossible to do, especially with a guy like Isaiah Johnson who had 30. I mean, it, a guy had 30 and Naba Eccles had 20. That's 50 of your points. You, you're going to have a hard time overcoming something like that. Well, take a look at the final numbers as uh, Northern Michigan won going away. What jumps out to you there, partner? It, it's the bench points and uh, the rebounding to I me. Mean, Wayne State got their rebounds, but they needed to defend a little bit better. And those numbers don't really show the runs that Northern was able to get on, and that, especially that one in the second half where they were able to stretch that out to 15. 
Well, that's your final score. Northern Michigan comes away with an 83-74 victory. The Warriors fall to 8-8 eight eight overall and 6-5 and in the GLIAC. You and I, of course, Joe and our CN900 crew will all be back here a week from now. But in the meantime, for Mike Brad, our statistician, Joe Abramson, our sideline analyst, my partner, Rod Beard, and the great staff at CN900, my name is Sean Belegian saying so long for now from Midtown Detroit, where today, some good and some bad. The ladies win, unfortunately, the gentlemen lose. We'll see you back down here a week from today. Davenport comes to town. On behalf of everybody, thank you for watching here on CN900. Have a great weekend, everybody.